here. What's happening, YouTube? It's King Rocker. 808 Kicks. Back in the building. One more time. Got another one, y'all. This time, the Nike sneakers app finally let me eat again. They let your boy back in that thing. I'll be on now. I'll be trying to hit. Y'all know how it goes, sneakers app. You win some, you lose some, you get your L's. The big L's, most of the time you get the big L. I don't know if it's bots, I don't know if the way they got the app set up. I mean, it's supposed to be one of the more secure apps. I mean, we know how Foot Locker and them do. Hit it with the raffles, finish line with the raffles, the dang and all that down. But, um, we're gonna get on into it, y'all. We got the straight unboxing. The Nike Pro Thel. I ain't even looked at these yet. I've been wanting these since I've seen the pictures. It's been a few months since I've seen the pictures. But these days got shuffled around. You know with this, this virus going on, the world has changed. It's not the, the same world that we was living in last year. Definitely not the same America that we've been living in. And here in Georgia, it's been a whole lot different. This thing right here, it's a first for me. I'll show you out of the back of the box. This is a first. Same time. Let me have my ship. <laughs> yeah, LeBron. LeBron James. LeBron James. Probably, arguably, the best player in the NBA right now. Top five, definitely, all time, in my opinion. I'm a basketball fan. Basketball is my number one sport. I don't too tough pay attention to football no more. I've been on football for a while. Basketball is my thing. Of course, y'all know, I'm a Hawks fan, ride or die. 0 oh, and 82, I'm still gonna ride with the Hawks. I don't care what y'all got to say about it. Y'all talk crazy. Get in the comments if you want to. I don't care about who your favorite team is. I'm from Atlanta. I'm a Grady baby. I'm gonna ride with my Hawks. I'm gonna ride with my Braves, Atlanta United, Falcons, Georgia State, Georgia Tech, UGA, all that. But that's another thing. So, this box right here. I ain't, and I ain't watched no other reviews on this shit. Cause I wanted to be taking the, man, this thing right here. With the black on black details, with the matte and the gloss. And this is my size. This one right here, straight for the toe, as my guy Rick would say. Straight for the toe. Don't ask me about it. Don't. If you wanted it, you probably could have got it. I don't know what they did. I don't care what they did on the resale. I don't care how quick they sold out or none of that there. I don't care about no restocks. This for me right here. Yeah. 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 LeBron 17 Graffiti Things Oh no it's a, it's, it's a little weighty It's a little weighty I heard about LeBron's being Heavy But I rock my stuff casual Anyway Details. Details. Mm, it's 
Smell like fresh glue. Fresh glue. This thing right here, man. I did not have the LeBron. This is my first LeBron in my collection. My entire collection ain't got no LeBrons at all. So this is my first LeBron James signature shoe right here. I've been looking at LeBrons for a while. But they, he never dropped nothing. Nike never dropped a LeBron shoe that really piqued my interest like that. But this thing right here, man. When I saw it, when I first saw images of it, I knew immediately that I was going for this one right here. I mean, with the strap, it's got the strap on now. You know what? I'm lying. I did watch one unboxing, one review on this shoe. That's how I know that there's something, there's something going on with this strap. How it's, it's it's a way that you can you can you can put it back. It's something going on. It, it, I know it's got this it's got this little this little band right here, right here on the inside of the strap where you can you can lock it in. And I think it's like this. Where you can lock that band in there if you don't want to go with the strap. And like I said, it's heavy. This thing is heavy. It's not um, it's not as lightweight as a Jordan or Air Max sneaker. It, it is it's Air Max and Zoom. That's part of the reason why I knew I wanted to go for this. I mean, all the LeBron 17s, they got the Air Max in the back and the Zoom in the front. But this thing right here, man, I'm not hooping. I'm, I ain't hooping in years, to be honest with y'all. I'm not hooping in this. I will not be doing no hooping in this thing. I, I forget what they call this. This uh, it's, it's, it's not a it's not fly knit. It's not foam posit. I can't remember what they call this. Y'all leave a comment in below if y'all know what they call this right here. I didn't do too much research on this shoe before I went for it because. I just like the way it looks so much. The red Nike in the, in the front right there, that's a dope little touch. The, the pull tab in the back. Of course, we got the crown right there. All the LeBron 17s, he did the crown. I, I love how he did the crown on the top of the, the booty. The, 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 the sock liner booty right there. And uh, <laughs> this thing is hard. Oh, this this right here is it, it's movable. That's fine. That's fine. Now this this thing right here with the graffiti print all across the bottom is the LeBron 17 iteration of the LeBron 7 graffiti, which is also a dope shoe. When the LeBron 7 came out, I was far from starting my collection. I mean, of course, that's, that's 10 signature models away from this thing right here. But when I looked at the side-by-side -side comparisons of the 7 and this one, it was just, it, it amazed me how much of the details from that one shoe that they brought to this one but still kept it OG. They still kept it as close as possible to the original shoe. They switched the LeBron 17 all the way up. Like if y'all seen the LeBron 17, it then brought out multiple colorways. And for them to, to attempt this and pull it off so well, it's just kudos to Nike, kudos to LeBron. Rich Maverick, his whole team, whoever had anything to do with this shoe. I don't know, I can't remember the name of the designer for LeBron's line. He may have had uh, multiple designers, but whoever did this, whoever came up with this idea and was able to execute it so well, I mean, just shout out to them. 
I mean, they need to do, I, in my opinion, they need to do more of this kind of thing, with this, especially with this strap. Old school dudes like me, I came up in the, I was born in 82. I came up in the 90s where straps on shoes was a big thing as far as style and fashion, fashion statements were concerned. I just love the strap. I'm gonna figure out how this thing works. I ain't quite figured it out so, uh, so far. Like I said, this is my first time seeing it in hand. I have seen video of how this is supposed to work. Let me just try it. Maybe that's how it's supposed to go. Kind of like a Air Force One vibe. The Air Force One mid vibe, how you can just leave the strap loose and rock it like that. And this Velcro. It's not, it's not the old school, like real sticky kind of Velcro where you're gonna get a whole bunch of lint caught up in it. It's not that that toothy, real hard biting Velcro. Where if you wear sweatpants that fall over this it's gonna get stuck all up in there. This, I like this. This is a new type of thing as far as straps is concerned. I got a few pair of shoes, maybe two or three that got straps in them, but that's new and it's hard. Of course, he put the lion on the tongue. Y'all know how LeBron do. The lion is his thing. The king, the king of the court, the king of the jungle, if you will. I mean, the pull tab, and this red, that, that red hit right there going up the back, that's just hard. Man. And I am, y'all know I'm a Nike head, Jordan head, so the Air Max on this thing, I can't wait to put it on. And you can, you can see the graffiti, if you can read, some people can't really read graffiti print, you almost gotta have like an artistic eye. I see passion in there. I see family in here. Those are only two things I can see so far. But upon looking at it and doing more research on it, you, you should be able to figure out what a lot of this graffiti print is actually saying to us on this shoe. And this hard. This, this knit, I feel like will be a little hard to keep clean. And it's not really, it's not white white. It's, it's, it's not as white as the graffiti print on the phone. Now this is phone plastic right here. All this graffiti print going around the shoe, that's phone plastic. It's hard. It's tough to, to press in and it's probably to keep you locked into the shoe. If you do plan on hooping in this, LeBron may or may not break this one out when the NBA resumes. I hope he does. I'll be real interested in seeing what he's able to do in this shoe, how it um, affects his play style, because y'all know, and that's probably why the shoe is so heavy and like almost boot-like. Like, it don't even really bend. And this one, Another thing I like about it is, is ain't gonna be no creasing on this. Because this is knit, but you can't really bend it. Even the midsole, on this side it's got rubber midsole. On the lateral side it's the foam plastic all the way across the midsole, but right here, that little bit of rubber, it's got some give on that. And the zoom pods, for those of y'all that don't know, zoom is, the other main technology that Nike goes with, Zoom on basketball shoes and running shoes primarily. You know, they've been making Jordan 1s with Zoom. Some of the later model Jordans, like the 12s and 13s, 14s, got Zoom in them. So it's just another cushioning technology that Nike does. It's a little bit firmer than Air Max, like, Air Max, you, you know that bubble, you can press that bubble in with your hand, with your fingers. When you step your, your foot into the shoe, you can press down on the Air Max and see it compress. 
Zoom is not as forgiving as Air Max is, but it's all a comfortability thing. You know, you got the 23 right here, and this, these straps across the top, these bands, it provides a lockdown, an extra set of lockdown, and the laces are up under there. It do it does have full lay a full lacing system. If you want to, you could probably unlace and relace and put the laces on top of the bands, but up under the bands is just the cross of the black laces right now. I mean the bottom that's aggressive, real aggressive traction on there. It's not herringbone. And of course, with the last few LeBron models, you got the zoom part separated right there. I don't know if it's zoomed all the way up to the toe, but I know in these two parts, on the lateral and medial sides of the outsole, are for extra cushioning, because we all know, if you don't know, check it out. I mean, LeBron, he plays hard. He's a big dude, he's always been a big dude, one of the bigger dudes as far as his position goes and um, his weight for his height and the amount of athleticism and explosiveness that he, that he have with the way he plays, I can really see how this shoe or this style of shoe would help him on the court. I can see some carbon fiber through there on both sides matter of fact I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or not but it's shank I can't really say it's a shank plate because normally the shank plate goes across the bottom of the shoe but it's kind of got like a carbon fiber type of material right in here no that's not I don't think that's real carbon fiber it's kind of pliable it's probably just to give some some, some give in the phone pocket right here. But man, I'm super excited about these. I can't wait to put them on foot. I've got the Nike Air in the front in red. You know, I got to see that. I kind of focus on that. It's white swoosh right here, bordered with the red. Let's see what the inside look like. King on the tongue up under the lion right here. That's fire. That's just fire. There's also something on the back of the tongue right here. Never forget to hear the voice of an athlete, Phil Knight. So we got a Phil Knight saying on the back of there. Size tag right here on the inside of the medial side, the, the lateral side, rather. This thing papered up too. So they didn't they didn't give us the um, the cardboard shoe tree. And of course. Got the LG Bay, L, <laughs> LBJ crown logo on the inside of the red interior. He's been hard, man. I'm super happy with this. For my first pair of bronze, I'm super happy with this. I mean, the quality seems 100% intact. Like I said, the, with this knit. You can press right down on that. It's probably real breathable. It do seem kind of thick, but um, I would definitely be spraying these things up with that stain repellent. My uh, rejuvenator stain repellent, water repellent. Because the way these things are built so tanky-like, I probably will wear them more in the colder seasons, the fall and the winter. I'm always in red and black anyway. 
so this this colorway just fall right in line with my wardrobe off top. This, this, these are just dope. Got the LJ17. That's what that is. LeBron 17. LJ17 right there on them little dots. So I just wanted to bring this to y'all, man. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to put these on my feet already just to see how they feel. Check out the Air Max and the Zoom combination for the cushioning on these things. LJ23. Shout out LeBron. I, I can't say as, as much as I love LeBron, I also love Jordan. I wasn't um, a, a Bulls fan, but I respect what Jordan did for the game and his game on the court also. And I feel the same way about Kobe. I feel the same way about LeBron. I feel the same way about um, Ken Griffey, Bo Jackson, and just different greats, all-time greats from my era when I, when I was watching sports. I do feel some kind of way about guys that uh, came before me and some of the current players also, the Durants, the Currys, the Hardens. I respect all these guys, but um, from what we have seen from LeBron James over the past 17 years, you just gotta give him that respect. Side note, Vince Carter is my favorite player ever, all time favorite. I'm not saying he was the best. I know his track record. I know his career. He just retired from my Hawks, which I love. He was with my Hawks for the past couple of years, helping uh, our young players. And um, hopefully he'll come back in some type of capacity involved with the Hawks. I know the city of Atlanta loved him. And uh, that's all just a side note. You know what I'm saying? Holding these LeBrons. But um, that's it, man. LeBron 17 graffiti things. I'm loving these right now. About to put them on foot. Until the next time, I'm Q Rocker. It's 808 Kicks. Y'all leave a like on this video. Hit me up in the comments and let me know did y'all go for these? Did y'all get them? What y'all think of them aesthetically? How y'all feel about them as far as the tech is concerned? If you're hooping in them, if you can rock them casually, if you got the guts to rock them casually, or you just gonna let them go, leave them alone. They sold out. I, I know they sold out on sneakers app. I didn't look nowhere else. I'm not looking at resale. So y'all let me know y'all opinions. If you're not subscribed to 808 Kicks, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, leave a like. Hit me up in the comment. Hit me up on Instagram. 808 kicks underscore ATL. And I'm going to get with y'all on the next one. Peace.